Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP YouTube channel. This is Cow812, and in case you're not a regular viewer, we've been following Cow812's journey over the past five or six weeks. She became very, very ill for some unknown reason around a month and a half ago, and that led to her losing weight because she wasn't eating as much, just the same way as us guys do when we don't feel well. That weight loss led to problems with her feet and she became very, very lame indeed. It's my job to ensure that we get her back to full health. Throughout 812's journey, she has been under constant observation. She's been on pain medication, inflammation reducing drugs and antibiotics to ensure that she is as comfortable as she possibly can be. So without further ado, I'll shut up and let you guys in on her progress so far. And if you like these type of videos, delving into the world of farming, following cows as they progress from lameness to healthiness, and would like to follow more of my life here in Southwest Scotland, then please smash that subscribe button. And if you like this video in particular, then give it a big thumbs up. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Morning Craig, good morning. Morning. As you saw there, she is starting to walk a lot better. Um, she's still frail, clearly. Uh, I didn't expect to get better overnight. But she is in with the rest of the herd, and that's a good sign. And it's really good for her, because cows are kind of social animals, so that'll affect her. Plus, she'll be eating and resting a little bit more. And that straw won't be aggravating the problems any further. Anyway, let's get her feet up in there and see what the crack is now. By the way, you guys quite regularly ask why these grinders are wrapped up. It's just to keep them clean. It's just a sleeve, so basically at the end of this farm, I'll unwrap it. And obviously, because it's electric, I don't want to get totally soaking when I wash it. So I'll just rewrap it for the next one and then clean it properly, properly at the end of the day. Although the disc and the handle get cleaned every far. So as you can see, she is healing up slightly. She's slightly open still, but to be honest, I normally wouldn't have looked at her again after just two weeks. I probably would have left her till the next time. Because obviously the horn needs time to grow. Um, and if I haven't given it time to grow, then it can't fully repair, can it? But I knew you guys would want an update. So here it is. She's walking better. Still not walking perfectly, clearly. And um, this is weeping very slightly. And this is almost completely healed over. Well. It is completely rolled over, it's just there's no new horn there because that takes time to go from here all the way down to here. So what we're going to do is remove that little bit of loose horn here and just spray it with ivy to be honest. She's still not good enough on either claw to put a block on one or the other so she is best like this, spreading the weight between the two toes and the heel there. So she's putting most of her weight on here and here and that is giving her pain relief in itself. People were asking the other day what the difference is between bruising, underrun, and loose horn and pigmentation. Well, this is more black than blue, which means that it's underrun, as in it's separated. Yeah, when you remove horn like this, you'll see I'm using a saw in action because I don't want it to pull. And when you're cutting little tiny slithers of horn, it's actually much harder to cut those little slithers of horn than it is to take a big chunk. But as you can see, it's not really come to anything. So we'll just, like I say, get rid of the rest of this. Little bits of loose horn, spray it with iodine, and check the other foot. Oh, 
front feet actually need a tiny bit of attention as well, so I'm just going to get that done too. See, that's a little bit unusual because she was higher on her outer claw in the front. Normally it's the inner claw that needs the height taken back. As long as it's 50-50 between the two though, we're all good. Here's an example of the hardest cow in the herd to trim when the farmer's kicking around. This fits perfect and it's really difficult for me to lift this up and put it straight back down without touching anything especially when the farmer is there because sometimes you feel like it needs to be justifiable that your wage is earned rather than just given but the justification here is this foot is perfect so if i do anything at all to her i'm taking it backwards so we're just going to put it straight back down on the ground and leave it do its own thing Look what Helen made me, she doesn't want to bend it, look. How good is that? Does anyone recognise it? It's 812. Can you your hands clean? Do not drop it. Come on. How awesome is that? <laughs> How funny is that? I'm literally trimming 812 and Helen, the farmer's wife, has painted that and brought it over as 812 is in the crust. <laughs> That's absolutely made my day. The funny thing is, I'm not even just being polite, it's a really good painting. And um, I'm gonna, I just said to Helen, could she make prints? And she's gonna make prints. So if any of you guys want to buy a print of 812, you can email me at thehoofgp at gmail.com or get me on Facebook, just look for the Hoof GP, or even just comment here and I'll get back to you somehow. I'll put the price and everything in the description of this video, because I don't know what it is yet. Let's get her fixed. Right, so anyway, back to the serious business. So here is almost completely healed. Here has healed over, but if I put a block on here, all that's gonna happen is all of the weight will be transferred to this part and she might become lame again. So what we're gonna do is modify the block. So in cases like this, sometimes you just need to think outside of the box. And I really don't want her to be getting hurt on that part of the claw again and make her lame again on this side because it really is starting to be a lot, lot better. So guys, as you've seen, 812 isn't looking fantastic yet, but she is looking far, far better than the first time we saw her. That block is really, really going to help her a lot, um, and hopefully my inventiveness pays off. Helen's picture has totally made my day, um, and 
I'm not actually going to see 812 the next time I arrive here because I want to give her more time. Sometimes these things just take time and horror obviously takes time to go. So we're going to give her at least four, if not six weeks before we see her again just to make sure that she's getting on as well as she possibly can be. Again guys, thanks very much for tuning in from me and 812. Goodbye.